Nonprofit offers more than a thousand free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. Most of today will be dry across the state, but there is another slight chance for showers and thunderstorms like we saw yesterday. Highs will top out in the mid to upper 80s. The overnight will be dry with increasing cloud cover. Morning lows will be around 70. For Channel 13, I'm meteorologist Amber Alexander. Thank you, Amber. And right now in Des Moines, we have a west wind at 3 miles per hour, 90% relative humidity, a mostly cloudy sky with 71 degrees. About 729 here this morning, and coming up in uh, just a couple of hours, uh, we'll say two hours and 31 minutes, I'm going to be over at the corner of uh, East 6th and Locust at Fleet Beat, the uh, SNH shoe store, and we're going to do our family walk with vans today at 10 o'clock in the morning. Thank you to Chris Coleman, City Councilman. Uh, we're this time around. We're going to walk down to the newly renovated Des Moines City Hall and see what they've done down there, and then we'll turn around and walk back. This is we do these once a month. It's just for fun. There's no fundraising. There's no pledging. Doesn't cost you anything to walk. Just to meet new people and uh, get out and get some exercise. And some people walk a little faster than others, and that's fine. I try to keep going back and forth so I can talk to everybody, but uh, that doesn't matter how fast or how slow you walk. But anyway, we'll see you down there coming up in just uh, a little while, and we'll go for our monthly walk with Van here from WHO. Right now, today's top story. From Des Moines News, Traffic and Severe Weather Station, News Radio 1040, WHO. It's 730, I'm David Hightower, WHO Radio News, 71 degrees, overcast skies. Our top local story this hour, police have identified the man that was shot and killed by officers during a domestic disturbance call in West Des Moines on Wednesday. 26-year-old Jonathan Pingle was shot by responding officers. Police say he came at them while holding a hunting knife. The two officers, Matthew Wood and Nathan Grove, have been put on paid leave while the DCI investigates what happened. A Des Moines woman's been charged with vehicular homicide for a crash that killed a 19-year-old Des Moines man on the 4th of July. 23-year-old Alexandria May Newton is accused of speeding and running a red light when her SUV hit a car and killed 19-year-old Kevin Trout. Police say that she then fled the scene of that accident. A benefit concert in Marshalltown is hoping to raise about $400,000 to finish re renovations on the tornado-damaged Veterans Memorial Coliseum. And so it's going to have two full basketball courts in it, and a lot of the senior citizens in Marshalltown will be using it as well. So it'll be two stories. It's just awesome. That's Iowa country artist Jason Brown. He was on the Van and Bonnie show last week. He says the community's already raised about $800,000. The total cost to fix that Coliseum, $1.3 million. That's going on Saturday night, $15 to get in. Top national story this hour. Residents in Southern California are dealing with aftershocks now as they clean up after the biggest earthquake to hit the area in decades. The magnitude 6.4 earthquake was felt by over 20 million people from Los Angeles all the way to Las Vegas. The epicenter of that quake was near the desert city of Ridgecrest, where groceries were flying off the shelves, water from broken pipes gushing up through the cracks in the pavement. Two houses caught on fire. Uh, the same area was shaken by a magnitude 5.4 aftershock earlier this morning. WHO Radio News Time is 7.32. We've got your weather forecast coming up. Also, more Van and Bonnie in a few minutes. As another election season heats up, people are getting more vocal than ever. I'm all for fighting at the ballot box. Join the conversation on News Radio 1040 WHO. Always something special going on at GNL Clothing today and tomorrow only at GNL Clothing. At 1801 Ingersoll, you can save 20% off everything in the store. And that's just kind of the beginning because that means an additional 20% off summer gear already marked down 30 to 40%. If you've not been to GNL Clothing, you are in for a treat. It's a great family-owned business. This is their 101st year in business. It's just, you get a warm feeling when you go in there. And man, selection, they've got a little bit of everything. They do, and shorts, t-shirts, swimwear, everything you need to be thinking.